Hi, I'm Andrew Ennis from Primal Scream and we're here in uh, the Primal Scream bunker in central London and we're going to demonstrate the new COG MS-20 Mini. I've heard obviously about the MS-20, you know, read about bands. Bands I really love like DAF and producers like Connie Plank, that's, that's what they used. And it's great to see that COG have updated it and made a modern version. It's going to be available and when I saw there was a demo on YouTube all well, my friends and I, all the synth freaks, got very excited and we were passing the demo around to each other and couldn't wait to get our hands on it. And mo most of it is a replica but they've added USB and MIDI, MIDI so you can control it from your computer or your MIDI controller. Well, I've, I've only had it for maybe two weeks now and I've, I've used it on w already because we're very busy doing promotion just now, but I've, we're starting a new track and I've been right away plugged it in and liked what, what I got. Uh, this is just some drums and some and the MS-20. You know, what I liked the most about this is, as a musician, it just worked. I plugged it in and it worked. I didn't need to kick it, I didn't need to shout, swear, it works. That's 90% of the, pro the problem's over. And then I'll, hold on, that's just a basic sequence anyway. Um, but you can hear the, how. It's just got that fantastic squelchy old school. And I never liked that word intuitive but you just you play a note and then you hit some buttons and it does and again the glorious thing about this synthesizer every button you hit seems to make it better Just, so that's, uh, again, that's one oscillator. It's just fantastic range, fantastic sounds. Second, add another oscillator, how do I turn it on? Sounds like the Assault and Precinct 13 soundtrack is. And for a musician like myself, it's great to be able to just, f you can feel the music with it. It's not a preset, it's not something you have to set with a mouse. So you just sit and you go down the track and you just play along and you hit and you just turn knobs and get away. This is just a basic step sequence with on one note, but you can just hear. Right away, you're just I've not even got to plug in the tricky bits in yet. Sorry. I mean, I'll, I'll, use, I'll, use, I'll use presets, but this is so, for me, it's just, it's easy. And it, 
the sounds as say when you turn the knob it sounds better i usually record it live you know and i get into it like i was getting carried away there i'd just get into it and then but again you actually get the feel of the instrument you know how to get get the sounds so okay you might not get it exactly right again but you know you know what the settings are within five minutes you've kind of worked out which button does which and i know that everyone who's coming in even the lead singer who's uh, has come in had a shot in it and sat there getting great noises and he's gone oh, this is amazing i want one and singers don't normally like having to get their hands dirty <laughs> And the great thing, and this is what will be really important to me when I get going on it, is you can plug a signal into it, go into the cutoff and resonance, and that's great for making strange, you know, making guitars sound strange, making voices sound strange, making drum kits sound strange. Maybe make horn sections not sound like their horn sections, you know, by the use of filtering or by the use, you know, or make folk, you know, you're just always trying to make something a wee bit different than what you've done before and yeah I think we're going to take it in the road because obviously it can do your s screaming leads and there's a lot of our records we have sort of quite strong synth leads and it's just got a great sound for that and, and hopefully the roadies won't break it <laughs>